Okay, so, Lami. Yes. I want us to be very, very constructive. You have said that you want, um, you, you, you don't mind that control because yes. it is important for sanity that there has to be certain kinds of laws. Can you just tell us, you know, how do you think it would be feasible, you know, that they would do it and put in this control? What's your idea of okay. control? Okay, what I would say is that um, I want an element of control is because part of the problems are cyberbullying, mental health reasons, depression, harmful content, and all that. So I'm looking at it from the angle. Now, when the government wants to do this, it has to proceed with caution. Because anything from the government is also, is also met, is always met with, you know, so, um, um, suspicion. So rather than the government just waking up one day to say, forget the fact that it's emanated from the house, mm. we know it's an executive bill. Now, instead of the government to just wake up and bring out this bill, why don't you engage the stakeholders? Engage the stakeholders, the lawyers, the, the, the media, the youth and the social media, you know, mm -hmm. the people that really matter and take it. And you can't just cut it just in a day. It has to be progressive. Mm. It has to be taken in bits. So I think the government has to proceed with caution and engage people who matter at yeah. this point. You know, I'm going to read out this thing from um, this quote from Adebo Yadegoke, digital rights advocate. He says, the protection from internet uh, falsehood and manipulation bill is a backdoor approach to silence critical voices in Nigeria. He goes ahead to say it is a dangerous path to thread and will serve to provide a legitimate justification for many Ill illegitimate things that the Nigerian government already do and maybe will do. The, the what, is, what do you guys okay. think the underlying factor in all of these conversations among the, this agitation is, in all sincerity? He's gagging and I it didn't get that. Like, no, I'm saying the underlying factor, why, why do you see that a lot of, there's a lot of apprehension? Freedom of expression. It's, be, it's because of the fact that we do not trust our leaders. Yes, I said it earlier. You know, which is, so when you were talking, I like the fact that you said, call the stakeholders. Because you don't just wake up. But honestly. I cannot, for instance, Sansi, if you tell me that, Uwa, I'm going to seize your phone for one week. You're, gonna, you're not going to, you're not going to talk to anybody. You're not going to whatever, whatever, because you've been working tirelessly. I need you to rest. When you come and meet me, because I trust that you truly have my, my interest, interest at heart, at heart my I'll health, I will gladly give it to you because I know that mm. Sanzi will not come out to, to just deliberately want to cut me off of my business transactions or the people I'm supposed to do business with. You know, you know. Mm. So she's coming from a good place. So while the government, they are looking at this social media bill, they should be very conscious of the fact that people don't trust them. The citizens don't trust them. And so, it's not like they're up bringing up a different messaging app. For instance, in China, what China did, they cut down every social media uh, appliance and promoted them their WeChat. WeChat. Yes. Exactly. So, Do you understand? So if it is even for economic reasons, that you say, you know what, they are making so much money on this WhatsApp, so let us create our own app that will begin to generate income mm -hmm. for Nigeria. So we cut off the other one, so Nigerians are forced to use. It's a different, I mean, that's, I mean, that's what uh, China did, China, for instance. Yes. So WeChat, they, don't, they are not doing WhatsApp and all of those. So what we are saying is my point the point i was you know trying to land mm -hmm. get your citizens to trust you do you understand then when you bring out these kinds of policies nobody will question your motive behind it nobody will say that oh the government is trying to shut me up or the government is trying to do this because your motives are not clear everybody is looking at it that you just want to keep us quiet because it is our talking that is even keeping you people a bit responsible. So let us keep quiet. Like the voices are becoming a threat. Do you understand? Because I know that Nigerians generally, we, we are just great talkers. We are not great doers. No. But at least we get something done on the internet. Even that talk, yes. You see what I'm saying? Before they used to yeah. say that, ah, they used to laugh at us that, ah, let, them, let us see how they will so win. We are gathering uh, momentum. Let us see how they will win uh, elections on social media. Like, share his Twitter. Mm. Go and win the elections. On, but they are seeing but, now that that momentum is, is coming up. It's becoming, very, it's becoming a big force. 
So instead of sleeping and saying that, ah, let us quickly do this and let us curb it. And quite frankly, social media is a huge power the youth have above the elderly people because they don't really have that time to be on Twitter. So are the you young joking? people... But, but the old people are joining. No, they are joining. They are joining now, but you still yes. look at the percentage. Maybe this is just my rough estimation. Okay, let's say maybe like 5 million of them as against what? 40, over 40 million, million yes, now. of the youth. And you know Come the truth on. is there's a huge connection. You know, there's a huge connection. So for us, social media has given us the liberty to even meet the high and mighty that we never had imagined that we'd be able oh, to meet in our def lifetime. Definitely. Because if you're definitely. doing well and you're constructive, you're critical, especially in your in your thoughts and all of those things, you go on um, on Twitter, you send it a, 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 a straight message to somebody that you're looking up to, yeah. and the person responds. To a, to a Bill Gates. Do you yes, to a Bill Gates. It is also a good way to call out to the international community on the direct issues of the yes. society. They see so there's a lot going on. Look at the young boy that did the painting of Kevin Hart, that went, that he, he sent it to him, and mm -hmm. you just imagine how much social media. And the one who drew a picture of yes. uh, a painting of uh, f uh, f uh, Trump. No, uh, Cameron. French, French, pre uh, France, president of France. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, I, I, I didn't see that uh, the president of France. I saw mm -hmm. Kevin Hart's own on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw the one of you know, Trump. You know, so I mean, these are things that we would never have thought about. So people are now looking at it that oh, I actually have power. On my Macron, my goodness. Yes, let's Emmanuel Macron, yes, yes, sorry. Let's say camera, my goodness. <laughs> Macron. <Okay. Emmanuel. laughs> you know, you, I have the power in my hands and I can I can, you know, constructively question certain things and ask questions. So um, we I like what Lam is going, you know, but you see before we get there, because I put a lot of control, you understand, personally, but before we get there. Can we build trust first? Can we begin to have integrity on what has been trust entrusted in our hands? Develop character. Develop character and let us see what happens. <laughs> so what are your final thoughts? Yeah. Engage the citizenry more and uh, proceed with caution. I'm not sure they can achieve this all in one bill, just at a time. Mm. No, I think it's a bit too um, draconian. So I think the government, well, I hope somebody's listening that can convey this to them. Mm -hmm. I, need, I, I strongly believe that there has to be law and order on the internet. Well, I do support that we should find a way to fight cyber bullies and people with negative messages and you know blogs dishing out false news, but not a total clampdown of, um, uh, of, of the, on the social media, on Nigerian um, airspace when it comes to internet. No, please, there are better ways to do it because this is our voice. And I keep saying, the world is fast becoming a global village. It's not okay that you're within your circle and you're happy. No, I need to know, it makes me happy to know that I can be here and know what is happening in uh, Sierra Leone and, you know, across the world. Yeah. I, I, and I like what you said about, um, what's it called? Um, now, for, God, for goodness sake, I'm losing my thought. <laughs> but I like what you said. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to say that no matter what it is, the government must realize that responsibility comes, you know, with so many things. Don't just wake up and think, okay, now I, I, I got my thought back. You said something about a, there are better ways of winning this Curbing thing, which it, is yes. true. Because you can truly send a mail to Twitter that this account... Mm -hmm. You know, and they block it. Yes. You can send to Instagram. They shut people's accounts. They do it. So you, there are very, very creative ways that you can actually attack these specific people, mm -hmm. other than just putting a general rule. I think they should engage the platforms more. More the platform itself. Yes. And the Twitter, the things. social media platforms. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our guest, <laughs> I'm sure, whatever, but he'll be fine. <laughs> um, let's take a, the quote again. It says, "I'm not anti-media." Uh, at all, but the media, the news, anywhere in the world is based on drama. So that's from Peter Jackson. Um, today, <laughs> today's conversation has been really, really interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're able to hold forth. That's why the fact that we really hoped um, Sean Kuti was yes, here because he's, he's a very strong advocate. Activist, yes, yes, he's a very, very strong advocate for the youth, you know. And I, I'm sure he has an explanation for it, but that's all we can take today. Um, so you catch us live tomorrow again at 8 p.m. and Sunday again at 8 p.m. We have great news. Um, so from next week, at the, 
I think Mondays, Wednesdays, or and Saturdays. I'll get the date, but we'll when have a repeat, repeat broadcast, broadcast for always. Yay! So in case you miss it. <laughs> so in case you miss the live um, show, you can catch a repeat broadcast. Yeah. So that's all we can take. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you tomorrow evening. Have a lovely evening. Thank you.